Hello everyone and welcome to Ascent. We're here for Unlimited Racing 2D Season 4, 9th Grand Prix of the season in the Netherlands. But before we can go anywhere, let's take a look at the championship standings. Drivers wise, Charles Leclerc, the man who's led the championship since race one this year, is still leading. He must be living large right now, you know, loving life. But he can't get complacent because George Russell, Max Verstappen, you know, even Esteban Ocon or Carlos Sainz can still challenge for this championship realistically, I believe. Don't count out Daniel Ricciardo though, what can he do in that Red Bull? That Red Bull's quick this year, as we already know. Lando Norris this year has not been as good as last season. With Pierre Gasly, he can say the same thing. Valtteri Bottas and Sergio Perez rounding off the top 10. Three points behind Checo is Alex Albon with Antonio Giovinazzi P12 and Mick Schumacher P13. Oscar Piastri in his debut season P14 with Lance Stroll on the same points as Callum Eilat. In P16, two points behind is Nico Hockenberg with Kevin Magnussen P18 and Yves Noda Nikita Maspin finishing off the championship. Uh, constructors wise, Alpine, just like they have the last few years, are leading the constructors. Alfa Romeo are second with Mercedes now beginning to consolidate that P3. Obviously, Esteban Ocon got his maiden Grand Prix victory last time out in Belgium. And that really helped Mercedes constructors wise also. McLaren, what can they do? 49 points from um, Red Bull. It'll be interesting to see what they can do. With Williams, P6, Force India, P7. Um, they're only, what it, 28 points away from away from Williams. So I think they can, you know, if they can string some form, they can really challenge for P6. With Ferrari a point ahead of Haas and Aftari five points behind Haas. Anyways, let's get into the weekend. Favorite for Paul? I'm gonna say Max Verstappen. It's his home Grand Prix. So why not? And his qualifying has now begun. Going through the first sector now. Looks like it's really close between Leclerc and Verstappen. Leclerc just with the slight edge over Max Verstappen. George Russell P3, Carlos Sainz. Well, now Carlos Sainz P3, George Russell P4. Oh, now this final, final chicane. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, it's really close. I don't know who got pole there. I think Max Verstappen just about beat Charles Leclerc. No, Carlos Sainz come from nowhere. Look at the gap between Sainz and Verstappen. Three hundredths of a second is what separates the top three. Carlos Sainz came from nowhere to grab pole position. Charles Leclerc is in um, is in an Alfa Romeo sandwich. George Russell slightly further back in P4. Lando Norris P5. Really good qualifying session for him. Valtteri Bottas P6. Esteban Ocon. Steve the man who won last time out in, um, in Belgium. P7. Antonio Giovinazzi P8. Back in the top 10. With Daniel Ricciardo and Pierre Gasly finishing off um, the top 10. Oscar Piastri just missing out of the top 10 with Alexander Albon, P12, row, row 7 being occupied by the two Williams of Sergio Perez and Mick Schumacher with Kevin Magnussen qualifying P15, Yuki Tsunoda, Yuki Tsunoda P16 with Mazepin beating Stroll, when was the last time we saw that? Nick Hulkenberg is on the last row with Callum Eilat. Let's get into this weekend. It's Grand Prix. Leclerc and Russell both starting on the hards with Alpha starting on the softs. Anyways, lights out and away we go here at Ascent. It's a good start from Charles Leclerc. It looks like Carlos Sainz can just about keep his P1. Verstappen round the outside of Leclerc and it looks like he's managed to get Sainz too. Bottas as well. I don't think these hards work as well round round Assen. We see Carlos Sainz retaking the lead. Although Verstappen down the straight, as he got a much better exit, has P1 at home. Imagine if Verstappen can win here at, at his home track. There'll be a massive party. 
Russell, though, really struggling on those hards. We've just seen him run wide. Lauchy Bottas, well, now Landon Norris inheriting third. But look at that, Leclerc and Russell on the hard tyres. Those hard tyres have just not switched on. Not at all. Alfa Romeo, who, you know, they've gone through tricky, tricky string of races. It looks like running 1-2 at the moment. This is just what they need, especially in the, in the fight for the Constructors' Championship and also Drivers' Championship with Max Verstappen. Lando Norris, P3, followed by Valky Bottas, George Russell, is P5, Esteban Ocon, we've just seen him get overtaken by George Russell. What can Antonio Giovinazzi do here on Charles Leclerc? Oh, he tried to move around the outside, just didn't work out though. He's going to try again, once again, it's not worked. Now, this is when the hard tyre runners can begin to look all smug, because they can go a lap longer, maybe even two. They can go a lap, maybe even two laps longer. Esteban Ocon though, he stayed out on the softs. So he's taking the gamble. Pierre Gasly is also on the hards. Verstappen and Sainz, both on the softs. So it looks like Alfa Romeo, they're, they're sticking with the same strategy for both of the drivers. Sainz down the inside, easy move for him. Although, don't be surprised if Max Verstappen does get him back. Whilst this is happening, the two Mercedes are having their own little battle. They both stay out. Both Alpines stay out. Sainz round the outside of Max Verstappen take, retakes P3. Which is provisional P1. Oh, doing this cheeky switcheroo on Charles Leclerc. Leclerc got sent to the shops. Wow. Really clever from Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen finding it a little hard to pass Leclerc. But the hard tyres, they really go a long way. Russell pitting now and Leclerc should follow. Yep, so he does. But those hards, they've managed to go a third of the race. You know, they could potentially two stop. Anyways, Carlos signs with the race lead. Max is stacking P2. Lando Norris on the hard tires. Let's see whether he struggles or not. Antonio Giovinazzi now takes P3. It's been a while since we saw Racing Point on the podium, you know. Lando Norris retaking that P3. Giovinazzi's tyres are beginning to fade away. Verstappen and Sainz are both in. Where are the Alpines? There's George Russell. He should take P1. Although it's going to be really close. There's Sainz. Sainz stays ahead of George Russell. However, Max Verstappen doesn't. He only stays ahead of Charles Leclerc. So this is perfect scenario for Carlos Sainz. This is... I wouldn't say a bad scenario for um, for Max Verstappen, but it isn't ideal. It really isn't ideal. Lando Norris, I think he may stay out a little longer. Sainz easily gets past him. Easily. The soft tyres, really, they're working so well on the Alfa Romeo. Valtteri Bottas, so he's in for his pit stop. George Russell gets past um, Landon Norris as well. But there's Carlos Sainz. He has a lead. A fairly good lead. Beginning to approach some back markers now. Where, you know, comfortably in the middle of the Grand Prix now. He laps them with ease. The next lap car will be Yuki Tsunoda for him. I think he should lap him fairly easily as well, fairly quickly. Oh, Tsunoda's not going to make it easy, but there he is. Finally, managed to get past him. Tsunoda is going to try and fight back by now. Charles Leclerc, I think he must have pitted, yeah. He's pitted again, Charles Leclerc. George Russell's in. So Russell's in, that's going to promote Max Verstappen to P2. Orlando Norris, who's on fresh hards, he's going to enter P3. But there's Charles Leclerc. Is he going to come out ahead of his teammate? 
Yeah, he's managed to undercut his own teammate. As he gets past Antonio Giovinazzi, Giovinazzi gets him back though. Really good overtake from Charles Leclerc. Right on the hairpin, managed to get the car stopped. So it's, I wouldn't say fresh hards, but you know, they're in better condition than Antonio Giovinazzi's. But there we are. Carlos Sainz is in. Max Verstappen stays out. Obviously, he's on the hards. Carlos Sainz, honestly, is that really how dominant he's been today? Charles Leclerc is going to try to go around the outside of Lando Norris, which will soon become the inside. The same move that he did on Antonio Giovinazzi is done on Lando Norris. Lando Norris is going to want to fight back. But no, he's not got the fighting power for that. Or has he? No, he hasn't. George Russell now gl glides past him. Max Verstappen's in now. Soft tyres, I think that will be the tyre coming on. So where's Russell? Russell P2. Verstappen's managed to come out in P5. So he has a little bit of overtaking to do before he can even think about the podium. Even a P2, that's going to be difficult for him, I think. I guess it depends how quickly the other driver's tyres fall away from, from them. Carlos Sainz though, what a dominant performance this has been. It's been a while since he's won. But as long as he keeps his concentration, keeps keeps the car out of any trouble. He should have the win. And there's Max Verstappen down the inside of Lon Norris. Landon Norris and Norris isn't gonna, even going to fight that. Max Verstappen all over Charles Leclerc. Leclerc who's struggling to get past Kevin Magnussen. And there, Max Verstappen all of a sudden is running P3. Next up for Max Verstappen, George Russell. Could he potentially even challenge for the race victory? Honestly, I don't think he, he could, but who knows? He's managed to close up the gap already. From P, he came up P5. And now P2 is looking at him. Oh, Russell placing his car perfectly. The Stappen, though, he just can't get... You know, he has to stay patient. As long as he stays patient and he can get him going down to turn one. That's all he has to do. Oh, Verstappen. George Russell, though, has done phenomenal defending up to this point. However, Verstappen's been really unlucky with back markers and, and stuff. There, they're both running wide. Verstappen's tyres now have fallen off the cliff. This is just what George Russell would have wanted. I think Russell may even keep that P2. Although that was a really good corner. A very good corner from Max Verstappen. And there we have it. Max Verstappen has taken P2. However, the headline story today is going to be about Carlos Sainz and Carlos Sainz only. He wins the Dutch Grand Prix. Max Verstappen makes it an Alfa Romeo 1-2. It got really hairy towards the end. But he finally managed to get past George Russell. Antonio Giovinazzi, P4. Valtteri Bottas, P5. So Charles Leclerc lost about two positions on the final corner alone. That's how much he was struggling. Valtteri Bottas, and look, Daniel Ricciardo, sorry, just about beating Lando Norris. The Pierre Gasly, no, Esteban Ocon, P, P9, and Pierre Gasly, P10, rounding off the top 10. Sergio Perez, P11 with Alex Albon. I think he was the last backmarker to be lapped. Oscar Piastri P13, Lance Stroll P14, Nikita Mazepin P15, Mick Schumacher P16, Kevin Magnussen P17, Yuki Tonello P18, Nico Kumberg P19, Kyle Mylock P20. The championship lead be between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen has closed significantly. Eight points is what separates first and second. This was a really good race for Max Verstappen, obviously. The win would have been even better. The difference, I think, would be three points if Max had won. But Carlos Sainz was in a league of his own today. 
that also brings him closer to the to the title fight as well. Honestly, any of these top four could win the championship, especially with Carlos Sainz win. That was that was really crucial. Esteban Ocon, he's going to be in the battle with Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris. Can Lando get a win? It's going to be tricky. Valtteri Bottas P8, a point behind Lando, with Pierre Gasly and Sergio Perez, 9th and 10th. Antonio Giovinazzi, one point behind Sergio Perez. You know, Giovinazzi of late has been picking in some good performances. Mine in form. Alexander Albon, P12. Mick Schumacher, P13. Oscar Piastri, P14. Lance Stroll, P15. Callum Eilock, P16. Nick Hockenberg, P17. Kevin Magnussen, P18. Yuki Tenoda, P19. And Nikki Tomaspin, P20 in the championship. Constructors wise, it looks like this. Alpine's gap though, this is the this is the closest, you know, this is the smallest the gap has been for a while, you know. Mercedes, they're P3. They're going to be in a really close battle with Red Bull this year, you know. Eight points is what separates the two. Um McLaren just putting some daylight between themselves and Williams. With Force India really closing the gap between Williams and themselves. Alpha Tari, one point ahead of um, ahead of Ferrari with three points separating Ferrari and Haas. Anyways, that was the Dutch Grand Prix, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we'll be going to Le Mans. What a Grand Prix! That was at Asenda. One, two for the Alfa Romeos. I was not expecting that. Anyways, thank you for being with me. Can't wait to see you in France and goodbye.